Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to Game Review on the Mi 11. This is the latest Mi device from Xiaomi and this is also the first Snapdragon 888 device. And of course, as you expect, we have to do a gaming video, so let's jump in. Thank you again guys for joining the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification icon. Now the Xiaomi Mi 11 is a lovely looking device. It also houses a 108 megapixel camera. I'll show you a few camera samples so you guys get an idea, but we are focused on gaming in this video. So what do we have to do gaming on the Xiaomi Mi 11? As I mentioned earlier, it's the Snapdragon 888 or 888, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, this comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, can go up to 12 gigabytes, uh, 256 gigabytes of storage, and the battery is a 46 milliamp, 4600 milliamp battery. Now, um, this is also a 5G device, but the display is quite massive. It's a 6.8 inch display, or 6.81 inch display to be exact. And this is a QHD Plus display that does 120 hertz. Yes, you've got 120 hertz in the display, uh, and uh, it does this at its maximum resolution of QHD Plus, which is actually absolutely nice. So, we do benchmarks whenever we do our gaming, our gaming reviews. Now, I use a tool called Game Bench, and they are great because they give you a lot of detail, RAM use and all that kind of fun stuff, but I was not able to use it on the Mi 11. But a fun fact though, is that if you open up developer options, you do have the ability to see what the current refresh rate is for the display. So I have it on, on the top left-hand corner, which you can see, it says 120 Hertz, just giving the idea that that is the refresh rate of the display. Now, cool thing that Xiaomi does have is they do have Game Turbo. Now, Game Turbo is their, their game center, allows you to showcase all your games in there, and it also gives you FPS uh, uh, numbers or notification. It tells you also your CPU use rate, use rate, as well as also your GPU use rate. So that's absolutely nice. So I won't waste any more time, and let's start off with the very first game. I'll show you, of course, that we're playing Call of Duty Mobile, and of course, I will show you the um, settings that we use, which is the maximum settings, and let's jump into some gameplay quickly. So Call of Duty Mobile played really well, uh, pr really solid. Refresh rate on, this, on the screen was still 120 hertz, uh, but the games, of course, uh, FPS was at 60 frames per second, which is what we have mostly for Call of Duty. I believe it's just one device that does 120 or 90 hertz, but it ran well and it ran smooth, and I liked that about Call of Duty Mobile. Now, when we move over to something that, of course, supports 120 frames per second, I'm talking about Vainglory. Now, Vainglory also uh, ran it at its maximum res uh, settings. And what I liked about Vainglory here as you're watching the gameplay is that it ran really smooth, very butter smooth. That 120 hertz really comes to play. But when we check the FPS in the game, this is a little bit different. Vainglory is running at 60 frames per second, not 120 frames per second, which I suppose this has to do with an update of the game, at least for this system here, uh, because we, as you know, with Android devices, it depends on what phone you're using at what time. So I, I don't think this is long, but I think Vingler will be updated to at least support 120 frames per second. Now, of course, you guys are big PUBG fans, and you know we had to run PUBG on two different settings. So the first one, which I'm gonna show you gameplay clip, is at Ultra HD Ultra with anti-aliasing on. And you can see on screen it says 90 hertz, because uh, 
that's what uh, the screen is showing the refresh rate at that point in time. And let's check out some gameplay on PUBG Mobile. The blue team has scored for the yeah. first time. So playing at Ultra HD HD, this follows the standard affair we've seen all with a ton of flagship devices, including the, uh, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, is that we got 40 to 41 frames per second playing at Ultra HD HD, which is fine. And I think that's pretty much standard affair right now. But let's go ahead and check out Smooth Extreme again on this device, the Xiaomi Mi 11, and see how it actually performs. So Smooth Extreme comes in at 60 frames per second. So that is good to see. And uh, it also falls in line with what we've seen with other devices in the past. Now, finally, the game that a lot of people, of course, want to see is Genshin Mobile. Can it run effectively well at 60 frames per second on an Android device? Well, we fired it up. Of course, our screen refresh rate is a lot 120 hertz. It's, it's, it's just going to be that. Uh, and we have the highest settings for Genshin Mobile. So let's go in, jump into some action, see how it plays, and then we'll look at the FPS for the game. So as you saw, Genshin ran at 60 frames per second. There were a few times where there were a couple of hiccups, uh, again, which is, this is why I like using GameBench, uh, because it lets me know with the variation, the stability of the uh, FPS rates. If you want to use GameBench, definitely use the link down below to check them out. But Genshin Mobile definitely ran well, and it ran well enough to run at 60 FPS. And I think overall, though, you find some really good performance of this device. Now, when it comes to temperatures, though, it's something quite interesting. Uh, when I was playing PUBG Mobile, uh, the temperatures at the back of the device, or while scanning the back, was about 99 uh, degrees, and the front of the device came up to about 102, 103, so it was much hotter on the screen. The device still did feel much hotter than I would expect. I don't know if they have any special cooling on the Mi 11. Uh, while when I played Genshin Mobile, which of course is a, a game that overclocks as much as possible, it ran at 107 degrees, so it ran really warm all the way through, and it felt really warm as well. So that's also something to be implied. Now, some of you asked me about battery life and battery performance. Uh, I would say so far it's been good. Uh, while gaming with this device. I haven't actually had it connected to, to a 5G connection or even to LTE. So again, this is just based off Wi-Fi performance and it's been pretty solid. The speakers are nice and the speakers come out really well. Now, when it comes to the camera, definitely go check out other videos for the camera. I know Mark has dropped a video. Uh, a few other people have videos out there. Uh, the camera does some decent work. I've only really focused on daytime photos. Take some, took some photos with Board Femme, uh, where she was posing for the camera, 108 megapixel sensor. And the photos looked really good. The portrait mode looked really solid uh, with that as well. I liked it. Uh, definitely check out her channel. She's got some stuff that she just dropped on the Galaxy S21. Uh, go check it out and see what she has. And also some front-facing photos of myself, which you guys can see and just pass by. But in terms of gaming though, the Xiaomi Mi 11 is a solid gaming device. Uh, one more thing, because I know you guys like to see this. Some of you probably will be wondering about benchmarks. 
Now, when it comes to benchmarks, speaking of Geek Benchmark 5, we've got a single core performance of 1126 and a multi-core performance of 3,539. So that is pretty impressive, a big jump from last year from any of the 865 or 865 plus devices. So that's pretty cool to see. Anyway, I like the Mi 11. This device though does not is not available currently, at least on, in the West aka US or Europe, so it doesn't have Google Play yet. I did have to sideload in there uh, so that I could actually install the games that I played. But when it does uh, become official least uh, worldwide, if you're looking to pick this up, I think it's a solid device in terms of gaming. And its price point at $739, that's how much I bought it for. I bought it from 28 Mobile and they were pretty fast shipping, so big shout out to them. Um, this is pretty solid to use and also again, it's 739 bucks, so really can't go wrong. So if you have any questions or any comments on the Mi 11, let me know, I'll try and answer them for you. Uh, but game performance for me has been great. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.